I'm Rob and welcome to the Electrolander Project. If you're just tuning in for the first time, the Electrolander Project is where I'm going to turn a 70 year old Cushman motor scooter into an electric bike. Now, if you are looking for high production values, great sound, great lighting, and a studio and all of that nonsense, you're on the wrong channel. I'm just a guy in his own garage trying to turn a 70 year old motor scooter into an electric bike. For those of you who are sticking with me, thank you for joining along. Um, hope you're enjoying all the ridiculousness. I promise you there will be more today. Today we will be taking the fork off of the bike and starting to disassemble the fork. So, stay tuned. Hope you enjoy the ride. So, we start out trying to figure out what the heck that brown bracket is bolted to the side of the frame. And, frankly, just gave up and unbolted it and then I unbolted the kickstand from the frame so then move on to the next step. So now let's take a look at the rear fender assembly. Now as you remember this is the first thing that came off of the bike um, before I realized it was an honest restoration because it came off the bike by itself. Um, so here it is. I don't believe that Cushman decal is supposed to be there. It was just something the owner put on there to make it look pretty. Turning the fender around, we can see where I <laughs> cut the wires going to the tail light because I could not find the connector between the main wiring harness and the tail light. Also, it looks like somebody took a zip disc to the top screws on this and cut into the back of the housing itself. And yeah, here are the four screws that were holding the lens on and we can clearly see the two of them have been cut. Flipping the fender upside down, uh, we can see <laughs> the cut wires, um, a bunch of extra holes in the back that shouldn't be there and that rub spot where the fender had been bouncing on the rear tire during my one and only test ride of the whole bike after it fell off and was retained on the bike only by those wires that you see there. So after removing the tail light lens from the fender assembly, I found this silver stuff all taped to the inside guess somebody was trying to increase the brightness of this really dim 6 volt lighting system by putting silver tape all over the inside to act as a reflector? Don't know. Doesn't belong there, so it's got to go. Hi, Rob again. Uh, here in the garage. Today we're going to take the front fork off of the Red Highlander. Um, just a little bit of play in this thing. <laughs> kind of contributing to the hopping up and down when the ride was going on, I'm pretty sure. Um, radial and axial slop. Okay, so we've removed the 15 16 inch size nut from the bottom. Amazingly, no ball bearings fell out when this moved. Um, it, it's free and there's no balls falling out. So we're going to pull the kingpin out. I thought this would remain attached to part of the triple tree. Okay, so I believe all we got to do now is yank this thing forward and everything will be fine. Or 40 ball bearings are going to drop all over this floor and I'm going to look like an idiot. Okay, no ball bearings fell anywhere, just the frame. <sighs> well, thank you for following me for another fun-filled episode of the Electrolander Project. Hopefully you had some fun and laughs at my expense. Anyway, take care, be well, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.